back to Beanie's Hobbies. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at this new little tiny Delta printer I've got. And this is the FL Sun Q5. Now this thing is a tiny diddy little beast. And it's now become my work top parts printer. So I could just knock off any little bits that I need right quick with this machine, cause the print speeds on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. They're quoting between 30 and 300 millimeters a second. So it's very, very fast. But obviously if you're printing at high speeds, you will be losing the quality. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so we'll just take a quick little look at the couple of test files that I've printed. Let's just zoom you guys in a bit. So first up with this little nut and bolt. Hasn't come out too bad. You can see here we've got a little tiny bit of stringing. But it all threads together nicely. See, nice finish, nice clean print. And then we've got the FL Sun Elephant phone stand. Yeah, again, nice quality. Very smooth, no lines. No vibration, no nothing. Quite a nice, clean, crisp print. And then knocked off a couple of little bits just to see how it would print. So this is a vase or a vase, not hollowed out. But you can see the quality of this. I used silk PLA for this. I quite like using the silk because it will show up any imperfections. But as you can see, apart from a little bit of stringing in there, um, that has come out phenomenally well. Apart from these lines on the top, but I think that's me because I didn't enable retraction. And then lastly of all, we've got this, it's just a little low poly frog. So I haven't really finished cleaning it up properly yet. Well, I didn't want to do too much to these prints. I just sort of printed them and just wanted to show you sort of how they were coming out directly from the print printer without, you know, sanding or doing anything to them. So I would say that that is quite an acceptable print. It's a very good quality printer. Now... Build volume wise, uh, be prepared for this. We have got 200, 200, 200. Or 20 centimetres, 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres, whichever way you want to look at it. So it's a very, very small build volume. It's a very, very small printer overall. Rarely doesn't take up any room. So if you're looking for a little small Delta printer, tuck out of the way then this is the one that I would recommend you getting I'm gonna just take a few quick measurements here for you I mean it's sitting here at what 55 no yeah 55.5 centimeters tall width wise we're looking at about 33 centimeters depth is going to be the same about 33 centimeters then obviously on top of that you have got your filament holder um, now, we obviously don't have any filament detection on this. We have got the extruder here on the side. Now, we do have auto bed levelling, which comes, hang on, in the form of a separate plug-in sensor, which just attaches underneath the hot end like so, and then you just plug your cable in and that will home and level the bed in about 27 places. But you had to do it once and it's worked ever since. Now this is a very, very quiet printer. I mean, you can hardly hear it running. It is very, very quiet. I'm quite pleased with this little tiny printer, I must admit. Now we do have full color touch screen very simple to use, everything's there that you need. Obviously you've got your preheat, 
you've got your tools with your auto level and change and your filament um, you've got everything in here you could possibly need I mean you've got your settings and obviously you've got your print it does heat up very very quick and like I say, the main thing that I like about this is the quietness of it. It is very, very quiet. Now, I'm currently in the process of just printing Lego Man. So far, we have not got too much of him. This is as far as we've got. But yeah, again, printing them in this silk white PLA so you can see quite clearly here how well it's come out this is one of the nicest printers detail wise I've got at the moment and these things are just coming out so clean so let's get a little file on the go and I can show you how quickly this thing heats up. Right, I'm not going to touch anything. I'm not going to time lapse anything. It's just, it's just us guys having a little chat while we wait for this printer to start up. And I want you to hear that is very quiet. It is just a nice little machine. I mean, it's not massively practical if you're looking to print the bigger, you know, the, the bigger things. For instance, yeah. You know, big vases, anything like that, you know, you, you're not going to be able to do. But, you know, if you found a print that's broken down into smaller parts, that'll be absolutely fine. But, you know, this thing's going to be no good for printing anything large scale. Because obviously it is only a very, very small printer. But if you like the Delta printer and you want a little small printer just to print your parts or print the smaller pieces, this thing is absolutely ideal. Now, just while that is heating up, we can go over a few of the specs. So we have got a 32-bit motherboard that is all metal construction. We do have the resume print function if you lose your power. Um, that is high speed. Uh, we've got the glass lattice platform, which again is insulated, so it doesn't take long to heat up. Uh, Assembly-wise on this thing, Quite simple, assemble, just came in, you know, you just have to attach your supports, the base and the top, uh, the spool, and then you just have to attach your arms. It is very, very simple to assemble. It took me 20 minutes of just sort of not really concentrating, just pottering. So it is very, very easy to do. So the bed is now up to temperature already, 60 degrees, that's nice and hot. And the nozzle is now heating up to 200. So it's currently at 140. This machine does heat up quite quick. Let us sort of show you guys the first little sort of bit of printing with this. It's not really too much I can go into detail about it because it hasn't, you know, it's not really got, it's not a massively high tech involved machine. It's just a nice, simple, basic machine. Let's get rid of that first bit of booger. And away it goes. Nice and quiet. Now you can adjust a baby set, baby set, baby set, baby step your Z offset if you need to raise or lower the nozzle. But like I say, after leveling the bed, I haven't actually had to do anything to this machine. Just click print and it works. It's printing away at the moment. Like I say, lovely and quiet. I haven't really got much more I can say about this machine in all fairness. You know what? It's very simple, very basic. Side class is more as an entry level printer. Someone who's just starting out, who's somebody who wants a little small printer just to get the 
get the hang of or somebody who hasn't got a lot of space for a printer or maybe somebody who wants a printer in the bedroom even. I wouldn't recommend printing ABS in your bedroom because it's a bit smelly, but this is for PLA if you want it in your bedroom or a little tidy small room. This machine would be ideal. Like I say, it takes up no space and you're seeing the quality of the prints. I would class them as really, really good. You do have all the usual connections. You've got your USB, micro SD card. You know, some of the specs here on the sheet. The camera would focus. I actually prefer this machine more because I did have the um, FL Sun, what was it, QQS Pro. It was okay, but I just prefer this more. It's just, this is just smaller, compact, doesn't wobble because the, the other, the other, QQ, oh my God, I can't speak. QQS Pro did wobble a lot. And I did print some feet for it, so that sort that helped the problem. But this is just a nice little machine, ideal. Obviously, don't, no, not just ideal for the amateur, but ideal for anybody really who, who, if you know, if you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, I would highly recommend this machine to anybody. But yeah, guys, I haven't really got much more to say on this. Just busy printing away. So like I say, once it is printing, you can then go into your options. You can adjust your temperature, pause, stop, change your filament. And like I say, then you can then rise and lower your Z, adjust your speed, or then change your fan settings. So it's got everything in this little tiny, tiny machine on this little DD touch screen that you could possibly need. So yeah guys that's it for me for this one like i say this is the fl sun q5 i highly rate this machine i think it's amazing if you're just looking for a little small delta i mean obviously if the delta printer isn't your thing i mean your other option you could go for also we've got the little ender 3 pro sitting here another great little machine I mean, I sold my original one I had, missed it, and I had to go and buy another one because they're just reliable. And we all know how much I love my quality. <laughs> and it's the reason I've got two V2s sitting down the end here, CR10 V2s, busy printing away. A bit of everything on the go in here, one of my latest creations. I've got a pulse rifle sitting down there waiting for paint when I get around to doing it. We've got the Mandalorian's rifle. Currently being painted, so yeah, a bit more of a spoiler alert. We'll have that coming up soon. And then over here on the desk, we've got the we've got the leg from my tripod. <laughs> we've got the Lancer from the Gears of War. So yeah, we've got we've got a few guns on the way. Still to come. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for now for waffling on about random rubbish. Hope you're all staying safe. And if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Uh, we've got a lot more videos coming up. Once this quarantine's over and done with, we can then get out and do a bit more. So, yeah, keep an eye on the channel for new content that's going to be coming. Just want to say thank you to all my current subscribers. We're up to 371 now. So we are doing really well. We will be doing giveaways on this channel. I have got so many prints I've accumulated. They are absolutely everywhere. Every hole in this garage I have filled with prints. All over the table. All up there in the corner. I've got them hanging up from the washing line. If I could get this gimbal to turn the right way. Thank you. I've got them on my desk. I've got them under my desk. So yeah, guys, I would like to give a lot of these prints away to you guys. So if that is something you lot are interested in, 
drop me a comment down below and we can think of some little sort of competition or some way we can we can do a bit of a giveaway so yeah guys that's it for me for now and like i say i'll catch you all in the next one cheerio